Holy <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yep, next one. Yep. You didn't like the boat. No. All right, well, there's another one swimming there. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe or something. G'day guys, Will Kitching here. Welcome back to another video. As you can see, the lucky fishing hat is back out again today. And it's in its element. It's a stinking hot summer morning. And in southeast Queensland, with summer comes mackerel and the pelagics. So that's what we're out here chasing today. We actually came out really early this morning, but I'm only just filming the intro to the video because it was still pitch black when we came out. We're out here today using a few different techniques. Early this morning, we were trolling dead baits on our uh, on our wire rigs with the pink squid at the front. We've been casting lures, and finally we've been floating some dead baits around as well, some pillies. As you can see here now, we got um, some pilchards floating out the back. But uh, while we're waiting for a bite, I'll take you right back to this morning, and um, I'll show you the day right from the start. Now, as I said, first thing this morning, we had our trolling rigs out and we headed straight down to Palm Beach. There was heaps of boats, it's a weekend, so we thought we'd just troll around the outside. Just turn the motor off for a sec. How are you going? Good. Not yet. Have you bagged out yet? What a joker. Yeah, same. We just got it. Sorry? Nah, we went to Gravel Patch though and there was nothing there. Nothing. Hopefully they come on. Cheers, you too. Anything? Yeah, same. <laughs> We've done, um, done a bit though and haven't got a hit, so... Yeah, <laughs> not today, not today. It'd be fun to try and get one on one of those actually. Anyway, hopefully you get some. Good to see ya. We tried that for a fair while and uh, no boats were hooking up. So we were almost ready to pack up and change plans and head to a different reef. Just as we were saying that, we saw someone hook up and then another boat and then they started busting up right next to the boat. So I quickly grabbed a chrome slug and uh, Dad went to wind in the, the trolling rigs and uh, yeah, this happened. Go back up, back behind the set. Oh, just in here, there was just a fish. Look, in here, in here, see the bait? Yeah. Yeah, oi, they're getting sliced. Oh yeah, I'll just go over that way a bit. Here, just wind that other one in for us, maybe. Just quickly. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right here, right here, there's mackerel. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just got a hit. I'm on. Yes. Get, Get the other slug out. Oh, I won't. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Yeah. Are they mackerel though? Or yeah. Tuna? Yep. Yep, mackerel. Yep. Get that other slug just out the back of the boat. Yeah. I got hit on the way in, he got off. Yeah. He would have just hit the pink squid and hooks. I got hit right at the back of the boat then. Can you just get the gaff out for us? Not a big one, but... Oh, come here. No. Got him. 
Alright, you do with that one, I'm fishing. Yeah. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Just get, get, a, get a line out, I'm good. One on board, that was a hectic, probably 30 seconds or a minute. I'll talk to you in a sec, we're gonna try and get some more. Dad was really unlucky then. He had one on, it got off, and then when he was winding in, got another one. Also got off, these guys are on, they're on. Just in, back in there. Yeah. Is it all in? Yeah. So yeah, I was lucky enough to land that one. Dad was unlucky right from the start, missing a good fish, but um, that's how it goes with mackerel fishing. After that, they started to really come on. Boats were hooking up. One boat near us, I reckon, almost bagged out. Um, but yeah, we were really scrapping to put together a feed. And as you'll see in the following cl clips, uh, we got really unlucky. We got bitten off a lot um, on the, the pilchards. We'll that out. Hopefully we don't get bitten off. I don't think so, I thought it was going to be like that. No, no. Oh. Yep, you're on. Oh, good job. Freaking straight away. I think that bit me off. Right. And Dad hooked a really good fish on the chrome slug. And, uh... Once again, were you lucky, Dad, or unlucky? Just unlucky. Just unlucky. I'll, I'll give you a look at what happened. Pressure on. Good fish. Yeah. I'll, look, I'll wind this other one in too. Get it out the way. You want me to bring the floater in? Yeah, I can get it. Don't want to risk yeah, losing it. Do yep. <sighs> Try and keep him this way. Yeah. He's not far. Oh. Be kidding. So finally after that, <laughs> they went off the chill a little bit. We wanted to persist, so uh, we headed out here to Gravel Patch and there's a lot of boats out here as well. And straight away we saw a few caught. So we pulled up for a drift and uh, started to burly, floated some pilchards, and uh, finally, finally this happened. You're on. Let me wind this one. Get the tension, keep, we're on. Double. Come on. Yep. I'm coming under you. Ah! Done ya. Story of my life. Don't play up good that case. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Yep. Oh, I thought we were going. Just here? Alright, well there's another one swimming there, a yeah. or something. Get, oh yeah, we'll get this one. That was a Kobe, that was brown or something. It might have been a shark even. Get up here. Get up here. It will. Spanish, I think. No, it's a big spotty. I'm not sure. Oh, big spotty. Oh, look, 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 yeah, look. another mackerel. Uh, just oh, bring I it can't. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
just snack off. Yep, yeah, just take your time. Are you bitten off, are you? Yeah, have I've got, got a slug on. Yeah, you're good. I'm not done yet. Yeah, like... yeah, you're right. Watch him on the motor. Just, just hold that for a second. Well, I just want to say a big hello to my mate Tom Rawlings, who lives just above Seattle in the United States. Tom, I know you were going through a nice, cold, harsh winter at the moment, but this is uh, summer Australia style, so you need to get back down here after this COVID rubbish and uh, have a fish with us. So, Tom, this one's for you. Good on you, mate. See ya. So that's where we're at at the moment. We're still giving it a good crack, and uh, there still has been a few being caught. Oh, and a guy is actually hooked up right behind us. There, in that tinny. Fingers crossed another one comes up and we can make it three. Just got to be lucky, I think. They're a bit patchy, a bit everywhere. Keep filming and keep you updated and hopefully you'll see us hooking into some. If not, I'll, um, I'll be back with you at the cleaning table. Now. Oh, it's off. You're kidding. One, you're on. That's all right. Do you think you You didn't like the boat. No. Oh, holy <laughs> Jesus. Holy that was quick. Quick. <laughs> I must have a little muscle. Yep. Right. What's he doing? Is he hooked in the side or something? Yeah. He's having a swim. Yep. There he is. He just went for a big run, that's all. Mm -hmm. Good spotty action, sorry. This. Nice and here. Oh, this went under. He's gonna do me this fish. It's gonna pull it. Loosen my drag. No, I know. Right. No, it's right, it's right. It's, right. it's only hooked in the side. I know. Just don't want to put too much pressure on him or rip out of there. Yeah. Just play it easy. Slowly. Yeah. Try and bring his head this way. Like yep. Here you go. Bring him around. Wind a bit. There he is. Jeez. <sighs> Don't hook him in the side. Yeah. <laughs> oh, take it easy, it, take it easy, take it easy. He's playing up. Right. Get near the boat yep, 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 yep. Faster. Just hold him. Just hold him. Oh. Oh. oh, come here. Go. Every time I go to, watch the line. Just stay calm. Can't do anything except just take your time. Oh, didn't take much. Oh my days! Jesus. Jeez, look how I talked. <laughs> he just would not come in, eh? Nah. Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Holy wasn't crap. in by much? No, nah, wasn't in by much. At least you didn't get bitten off because it was hooked in the side. Yeah. <laughs>
I shouldn't complain. <laughs> we, everybody, we have had about 10 bite offs this morning, so that's why I hooked that one in the side, away from his teeth. Yeah. I do it all the time. Yeah. What a joker. <laughs> Whoa. All right, that put up a fight. Hooked in the see, side, couldn't bite me off there. You can see where it was hooked, just held on, and you can also see what they called spotty mackerel. Oh, they're beautiful fish, hey? Fight hard, good fun. But that's um, number three from probably about, I'd say 15 or more. Alrighty guys, well I hope you enjoyed that video. As you saw, very, very frustrating session losing upwards of 12 fish uh, to bite offs and pulled hooks and things like that. We were sitting there by the end just speechless. We've never been bitten off or, or lost that many fish um, in one session when we've been mackerel fishing, but obviously we're gonna have to uh, re-look at our rigs and come up with something that has wire. The funny thing is we actually put wire on and didn't get any bites on that one. So that's why we actually use just straight fluorocarbon leader in the first place. But we'll have to figure out some sort of option because that was just ridiculous the other day. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, uh, comment and share it with your mates if you enjoyed it that much. And make sure you hit that notification bell and stay tuned because there's plenty more videos on the way. And with the mackerel we did keep, I'm going to show you um, how we cook it up, a nice Thai chili coconut recipe. Um, it's really healthy, really yum, it's beautiful. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I'll put that video up in the future. As always guys, tight lines, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.